What's good YouTube and welcome to the house. Oddly, this deck has been a rarity in my inbox. Only one has been submitted all weekend. I think I've seen one other spiral deck top so far this weekend. I'm sure there's others. But oddly, it's been very sparse in my inbox among the top cut. In fact, almost every single deck submitted to me has been different from the deck before in terms of its archetype or what kind of deck it is. It's, it's a very surprising breakout format. And this is Norman Irfan's, I believe, sixth place. Yes, sixth place at the Pearl mississippi regionals so let's go ahead and get into it talk about the deck list after his words from his tournament report his words more important than mine this is his accomplishment he says i finished sixth place at the pearl mississippi regional round one i played against 60 card infernoids and managed to win 2-1 so it seemed like a knockdown drag out brawl Round two, Trick Stars lost 0-2. I got Ash and Ogre back to back. Ha ha ha. The ha 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 is in his tournament report. Ouch. That seems like a, a really rough time when when you're getting hand trap cityed in uh after this ban list. A lot of people seem to have dipped down on the hand traps, but Ghost Ogre still does a lot against spirals. So interesting to see as you see this man's flexing on them hand traps. He's he's putting in like eleven of them. So round three, he plays against Trickstar again, and he wins 2-1. It was actually against a guy from Team APS. Very nice and polite player. That's good to hear. I love hearing a good experience with a tuber or somebody well-known in the community, which is often the case more so than they're rude, it was a bad time, etc. So shout-outs to Team APS. Sounds like you were a nice guy, even taking the, the second L round three. Like You gotta realize at the end of the day, when you're losing, you're going to lose. You don't have to get a bad attitude about it. And I love to hear sportsmanship in these reports. Round four, Floodgate Turbo, Burning Abyss. Uh, that's actually how Billy Brake describes Burning Abyss. He, he's like, it was the best Floodgate deck of the format. That's why Shadol's didn't do as well. Burning Abyss just mixed better with the Floodgates like Mistake, Skill Drain, etc. Wow, this, that's so funny to hear this guy, Norman, call it Floodgate Turbo as well. So he won against it 2-0. Round 5 against ABC, he won 2-0. Round 6 against Pendulum Magician, he won 2-0. Round 7 against True Draco invokes, Invoked Spellbook, my bad. A draw, so it sounds like True Draco Invokes in the top cut, which I actually don't have in my inbox either, because this was a draw in the final round, and this man's topped at 6, so unless that other guy's tiebreakers were terrible, it's highly likely uh, that he got it. He said, we got deck checked that round as well. So not only did they get deck checked, you know they're sitting there afterwards, just just playing what everyone else has done because they've gone into time after getting deck checked and getting that time extension that is crazy he said overall the regional was very enjoyable with everyone being very nice and polite with no demons around i main decked the ghost reapers because i was preparing for the spiral mirror for most of the play testing but all my other friends ended up playing spiral back to back while i played against everything else that that's happening in a lot of these tournament reports these people are avoiding spirals and all of a sudden everybody else has four to two to three in them it's crazy but yet it's not everywhere in the top cut what does that mean for the deck uh, the Ghost Reapers were still really good for hitting ABC Dragon Buster as well as number 41 for the Pendulum players. I thought about putting in Omega instead of ABC Buster, but I'm very glad I didn't because number 41 was a much better hit. I did not put a Dante anywhere on my deck list for Reaper targets because the Floodgate Turbo Burning Abyss matchup is very easy and I would rather side in Twin Twisters and Board Wipes for Vanity Fiends and Back Row Hate instead. The deck is pretty standard, but overall solid. I can't really think of any changes I would go do to the deck at the moment, aside from maybe citing the Ghost Reapers. Shoutouts. Special shoutouts to Card Addicts for helping me out, as well as just being a great store overall. Very thankful for Jonathan Sly, Aaron Teal, Hani Johari, hey, he's been on the channel before, I believe, and Lucas Park for lending me cards for this event that I would not be able to obtain at all without them also thank you oh always brings a tear to my eyes when they give me the shout out the rest of the shout outs go to austin lacombe dan okay i'm gonna murder this one i'm sorry dan dan nagaraneka 
I, I, I'd probably murder that. Wes Allen, Nathan Gordon, Tanner Masters, and to Reggie Brown for winning the regional undefeated. So let's get into this, this deck list here. We've got three Ash Blossoms, one DD Crow. Remember, this is searchable and part of a combo from the extra deck using Lear Loose Recital Starling, but often in the combo now, thanks to... Uh, Trigate over here at the very end. You're, you you end up summoning it during the, the combo off of Firewall in order to go into uh, Princess Sprite and continue on, from what I've seen, at least. Players do win. Three Drone Lockbird, three Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, one Max C. So there ends the hand traps. Ten non-searchable, one searchable. You're trying to open something that disrupts your opponent because the, your other disruption is searchable and he actually plays it. We've got one Spiral Gear Drone, double Last Resort. I have been seeing this a little more. One Master Plan, one Quick Fix, and a Spiral Sleeper. But don't sleep on this deck. It's still alive. Three Spiral Super Agent, three Double Summon seems the way to go. Almost everybody's concurring that Double Summon is the way to continue. With Double Summon plus Spiral Resort alone still equals a very nutty board should they not have a hand trap or a way to stop it. One Foolish Burial and Triple Foolish Burial Goods. This card is starting to appear in these decks a lot more as well. It's why it's rising in value while the rest of the deck is falling. People who want to play Spirals and already had Spirals that didn't just slash sell it when that ban list hit. This is kind of one of the ways that your deck can continue. We've got one one for one, a reinforcement of the army, a uh, one copy of Spiral B Gear Big Red. I still see other players uh, argue and fluctuate on this card. We've got one Spiral Mission Assault, triple Resort, uh, definitely needed, triple Terraforming, one Utility Wire, which is his kind of searched out uh, disruption, and double Spiral Mission Rescue. I think most of the decks now are playing two of these or need to play two of these, if I am not mistaken with how the combo works now. I, I don't know the combo by heart, but I've seen it played out. It's like 22 moves. We got two Artifact Lancias, one Dark Hole, one Regeki, double Twin Twisters, triple Dimensional Barrier. I think this is pretty obvious that this is directly for Pendulum Magicians and perhaps some other decks, like maybe you'd use it against ABCs, call XC so they can never overlay and they can't get to Buster turn one. Uh, it's definitely a card you put in going first more so than going second, though. Your going second option is evenly matched. You're able to just wipe out their board. That would be why Lansky is in here, probably the hard counter to evenly match alongside Psalm Scolding. We're seeing Psalm Scolding in the top cut more and more and more lately. It's because it's a card you can set that will deal with evenly matched, but should they not draw this, since it's not searchable, Psalm Scolding can deal with another card on top of what you've already dealt with. So that's why a lot of people are going with Scolding. Lancia was the initial pick, though. Lancia really doesn't do much against other decks unless you happen to be playing Infernoids, which I have a 60 card Infernoid top cut list later in the day. It, it's just really crazy to see the all these matchups coming together because there are so many decks hitting the top cut right now it's almost unpredictable and the extra here's that buster dragon he was talking about for his ghost reaper and winter cherries here's the Lyra loose uh recital starling it's basically dd uh, your 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 purpose in life is to get dd crow one number 41, Baguska. Not only can he make it himself in rare situations, you, you got all these super agents, but it's mainly for his winter cherries as well. The princess sprite that we talked about, very nice in this deck. We've got Akshik Magician. Borolog finds its home here for the most part. I think you can fit it into other decks, but this deck still does it best even with one quick fix. We've got the Decol the Talker. Double Firewall. That's pretty much all you need now is two instead of three. I don't think there were many people playing three at any point, though. One Gaia Saber. We've got the copy of Ib, Proxy Dragon, Double Double Helix. I've, I've wanted to say that for a while. Double Double Helix. Ah. And the Trigate Wizard. This card is really broken open the deck. If you don't know, the, the combo that you do with these, I'm sure you can go look up the combo. Maybe I'll have it at some point on the channel. But uh, th this combo with just these two ends up with uh, uh, this co-linked to three cards. And you basically have it turned on to the point where you get this third effect once per turn when a card or effect is activated quick effect you can negate the activation and if you do banish that card it's out of the newest structure deck cyber slink and they are making it linked to three cards total definitely a monstrous addition to the opening boards when you just open two cards one of them being searchable so basically you have six copies of this in a sense with 
perhaps other ways to get to it throughout your combos and then double summon if you get to these together you, you're you're basically setting up with one of these with its negate on top of everything else you're doing so again this was norman Irvin's. hopefully i didn't murder that it's spelled i-r-f-a-n maybe Irfan. but uh this is his top cut list very good job uh my first spiral submission of the new format i really do think this is a solid look a good build and uh, a lot of people do agree with some of these choices uh would you in the comment section below be playing another big red or what would you change to it because i really like the list but i i feel like like there are people who might consider other options not me personally i i think it's a great first look at the new format spirals thanks for watching everybody